In this short video, we'll take a look at the Firefly system found in your Renegade RV. Please note that this is a general tabletop review of a typical system, so the options that we cover may or may not pertain to your specific floor plan. Let's start with an introduction to the navigation menu. Here you'll find the navigation buttons for Home, Lights, Electrical, Climate Control, Vent Fans, Slides Awnings, and settings. The Lightmaster control will operate multiple lights with just the tap of your finger. We'll discuss this in depth in just a few moments. The lower left corner of the screen is used to display your coach's climate control status by zone. Ambient temps will always be displayed and the climate mode graphic will indicate if a mode is currently active. In this example, the front zone has fan only mode running on high. Tap the Aqua Hot Diesel or Electric buttons to select your desired Aqua Hot energy source if needed. The holding tank graphics will display the percentage filled for fresh, gray, and black water. These readings will display in thirds. Tap the individual controls to toggle the tank heater, water pump, water heater gas or water heater electric on or off. Now let's move on to the power section at the bottom of the screen. The battery graphics will display the DC voltage available from the house and chassis batteries. They will display green if above 12 volts and red if below 12 volts. Next, we find the generator start and stop controls, as well as the operational hours tally. To manually operate the generator, simply tap the start or stop buttons. Generator hours are saved to the system, not to the generator itself. If you need to change the hours currently displayed on the screen to match your generator's count, simply press and hold the hours tally for five seconds. Once the Gen Hours Reset screen appears, type in the required number of hours and tap Yes to accept and exit. AGS, or Auto Generator Start, is a feature that can automatically start the generator based on your coach's energy needs. Tap to enable or disable AGS. A warning screen will appear which will require action to proceed. Press and hold the Enable button for 3 seconds and then release to enable AGS. We'll discuss AGS setup parameters in just a few moments. Finally, before we navigate away from the home screen, you'll notice a flashing triangle at the top of the screen. This symbol will appear whenever the system is experiencing a fault. Tapping the triangle will take you to the network diagnostic screen for more information. I'll speak more on this later in the video. Now let's navigate to the lights page. If we tap Lightmaster on, every light associated with the Lightmaster will return to their previous state and brightness level. If we tap off, the same lights will turn off. If we tap Lightmaster off twice in a row, the system will think that the light's previous state was off, so nothing will happen when we tap Lightmaster on. If this happens, simply press and hold Lightmaster on for one second to turn all associated lights on and bring them to full brightness. Lights with arrow icons are dimmable. Press and hold the button to adjust their brightness up or down. Lights without arrows will simply toggle on and off. Now let's continue on to the electrical screen. The power source button will display the status of your AC power. If connected to a 50 amp line, 50 amp will show up by default. Tap it to select between 30, 20, or 15 amps. If AC power is connected, lines 1 and 2 will show the voltage, amps, and frequency for each line. The Energy Management System, or EMS for short, will ensure that sufficient power is available before allowing certain systems to run. If power becomes insufficient, EMS will begin to shed the loads as needed. Now let's tap onto the AGS Settings Navigation button. If AGS has been enabled, you'll still need to select Trigger Options before it will become operational. Select either Low Volts, HVAC Load, or both to ensure that AGS will function as desired. Quiet Time is a feature that will disable AGS during a certain time period in an effort to keep the area quiet. Tap the buttons to select your desired quiet time range. Now let's take a look at your specific AGS values. Start at volts. The generator will start when the voltage drops to this set point, depending on the time at start volts setting below. Stop at volts. The generator will shut off when the voltage reaches this set point, 
depending on the time at stop volts setting below. If you'd like to control how long the generator will run, tap the buttons for minimum and maximum generator run times. The Gen Start Retry setting will determine how many times your generator will retry to start if it fails the first time. Finally, tap the Reset Defaults button to reset all AGS settings back to Renegade Factory defaults. Now let's navigate over to Climate Control. Tap the arrows to select your desired ambient temperature by zone. You can select Cool, Heat Pump, Aqua Hot, or Auto to keep the temperature consistent. If using Aqua Hot, you'll need to select an energy source, either diesel or electric. If no climate mode is selected, tap High or Low to operate Fan Only mode. Once a climate mode is active, a climate graphic with fan speed indicator will appear. Tap Bay Controls to access the Aqua Hot controls used to heat the bay. Now, let's navigate to the Vent Fans page. Tapping the Lid Up button will raise the lid without powering up the fan. From a Closed and Off status, tapping the Power button will raise the lid, power up the fan, and bring it to a medium speed. Tapping Power again will power down the fan, but will not lower the lid. Tapping the Lid Down button will close the lid and power down the fan if it's running to prevent it from running with the lid closed. And finally, tap the Speed buttons to select your desired fan speed. Moving right along, let's tap over to the slide's awning screen. Press and hold the Extend or Retract buttons to operate your desired slide or awning. If the ignition is on, all Extend functionality will be locked out to prevent operation while the coach is being driven. From the Leveling tab, tap Auto Level to automatically level the coach. Press and hold the arrows to raise or lower specific leveling jacks as needed. Tap All Retract to fully retract all leveling jacks. The status indicator lights will indicate the status of the leveling system. Please see your Equalizer User's Manual for more complete leveling information. Finally, let's tap over to the Settings page. Tapping Mobile App will take you to the VegaTouch Mira connection screen. Scan the QR code to download VegaTouch Mira to your smartphone or tablet. Once you open the app, Use the Mira ID and PIN number to connect your smart device and control your coach to within a range of about 90 feet. The network diagnostics pages will use simulated LED lights to show the status of your Firefly system and list any faults the system is experiencing. Tap the tabs at the bottom of the screen to see any active inputs or outputs, as well as the status of the air cons and vent fans. Tap the Switch Panel Info screen to see the status of your wireless switch panels. Wireless graphics will display the health of each switch panel in your coach. A green wireless graphic means that the switch is currently connected to the touchscreen, and red means that it's not. Typically, if a switch panel used to work but now doesn't, you'll need to change the battery in the switch. The number next to the switch panel represents the strength of the wireless connection. Over 100 is strong, over 85 is medium, and anything under 85 is low. In the event that a switch panel has a red wireless graphic and is non-functioning after replacing a battery, it may be necessary to pair the switch to the touchscreen. To do this, simply tap on the wireless switch that needs to be paired. Next, press and hold the clear button for three seconds until the status of the button changes to cleared. Next, tap start pairing. You'll now have 30 seconds to walk to the switch panel and press any two buttons on the switch panel at the same time for up to five seconds. Finally, tap Done. The switch panel should start working instantly, but the graphic may take up to 10 minutes to turn green. Tap the temperature unit selector to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. The floor plan box displays your coach's specific floor plan. Drag the slider to adjust to screen brightness. When auto dimming is enabled, the screen will enter sleep mode after 60 seconds of inactivity. Tap anywhere on the screen to wake it back up. Please note that if auto dimming has been disabled, the screen will still enter sleep mode after four hours of inactivity during daytime hours, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m., and after 15 minutes of inactivity during nighttime hours, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m., as a result of a built-in screensaver that cannot be disabled. 
Tap the cleaning mode to disable the screen for 15 seconds for the purpose of cleaning. Tap the arrows to adjust the system time or select 24 hour time mode. Finally, the GUI and logic controller version numbers at the bottom of the screen are used to determine exactly which system is installed on your coach. Please have this information available before calling technical support.